Central Florida against Memphis, right? Central Florida has been absolutely awesome and dominant this year. Haven't really played anyone tough, though. This is going to be their toughest assignment of the year by far. Memphis is a, is a home dog here. Of course, last year, Memphis lost bad at Central Florida in the regular season. But then in the rematch, it went to overtime. It was a close game. The total, as expected, has gotten bet way up. It opened around 77 and a half, 78. Now it's up to 80 and a half, 81. I was looking at this game. Um, I was thinking that uh, Memphis... Should be able to hang with them. I wish I was getting seven, but at anything over a field goal, I'd probably be leaning uh, Memphis here. I'm very, very curious here. What's your take on this one is Al McMorty from BigAl.com. Well, you know, the Knights, they're riding that 18-game win streak. They're ranked among the top 10 in the country with a 5-0 and record this season. Last season, of course, they were 13-0. and I think this is going to be a very difficult game for uh, the Knights to win. One factor going against them here is that they're on the road after playing their four previous games at home. And Central Florida actually covered the spread in each of their last three games versus Florida Atlantic, SMU, and Pittsburgh. But unfortunately, Peter, road teams have covered just 38 of 107 games following three straight point spread wins at home, including 8 and 27, their last 35, if they owned a win percentage greater than 850. So that's the situation here. Another factor on the side of Memphis is the fact that it's playing with revenge from a uh, 62-55 loss in the AAC championship game last December. And winning teams playing with revenge from a postseason defeat have cashed 62.8% since 1990 when installed as an underdog. Everything points here toward Memphis stopping Central Florida's long win streak. I'm grabbing the points. That's what I was thinking as well, Al McMorty. I did bet it at four and a half. I just wanted to get some more information before I added it to my official record that we track in these shows. Uh, the market is split, though. Four and a half, most places. Pinnacle down to four. Greek still at five. So we can give you a plus five, minus 115 for Memphis. And I will now officially throw that one onto my official record as well. Memphis plus five, minus 115. I'd much rather be getting six or seven, but I don't think we're going to get there. <laughs> Memphis plus five, minus 115. Al likes it. I'll add that one on. Ian Cameron, what's your take? in this very interesting matchup. Yeah, I was passing on the side all along. I was I had this game circled to go over the total, but it, it's 80 and a half, 81. So sometimes you just got to say the value's not there. Yeah, I don't Pass, know. It's 2018, Ian Cameron. Scores are in the it is. Yeah, all could, over the in all you, sports. You could see 45-42. Uh, I mean, this would not shock me in the least. Plus, there's that weather system, that uh, Michael uh, system that's moving up the Florida panhandle. It's not supposed to hit Tennessee. Uh, right on, but it could graze right close by the state, uh, close to game day uh, on Saturday. So I want to keep an eye on how that weather situation is going to go. So for me right now, though, it's a pass on this game. Lean over, but not going to get there. Okay, so it's going to be a pass for Ian Cameron. Al McMorty's going to take uh, five points. is enough for him. It's enough for me. I did bet it. Memphis plus five, minus 115. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.